Um, and then so, just a quick show and tell on how you access your email account because it's really important, right? So it turns out that the UNSA assigned email addresses um, are associated with uh, Google, right, or Gmail. So UNSA signed an MOU with Google and so your, our emails are being hosted on Google servers or something, right? So what you do is you just go to um, the Google homepage, right? Make sure you're not logged on with your personal email account and then you just click on sign in. Right, once you do that, um, what you do is you, and I'm using Alice credentials here, sorry Alice, uh, what you do is you, you specify your user ID is your student ID at student.user.zm, right, like so, yeah. Um, so this is an example, Alice uh, email address is this, is a computer, computer uh, student ID or computer number, right, at student.user.zm, and then the password is the computer number, right. So obviously, once you enter your email account, because it's the first time, you'll be prompted to enter the password, which is your computer number. Um, and then once you log in, you'll be presented by this screen, just click accept, obviously. Um, and then I think they've sort of like uh, changed the configuration, right, the, the global configuration. And so you'll be immediately prompted to change the password. Because by default, all newly created email accounts uh, have the default password of student ID. So it won't force you to change that password, right? at least somebody gets, uh, gains access to your email account, like I did for this account. I mean, I was able to log in because I know that the default password is the student ID, right? So once you change the password, uh, and by the way, Miss Alice Vula, your, uh, your new password is, I changed it because I was prompted to change it, so it's now the same ID, right? So when you want to log in to access your account, Alice, this is your username and this is your password, but you want to change this because everybody in here knows this now. Um, and then the usual stuff, you'd be asked to specify like recovery details, like a phone number or another alternative email address that you want to associate this account with, right? If you want, you can skip this by just clicking confirm. I suggest you click update and then change these details. Um, and then, boom, this is what you'll be presented with. And, and this, this, this shows us a lot, right? Miss Alice has not been checking her mails, right? See when I started sending emails? February 17th, right? She hasn't read any of the emails, and I'm guessing the vast majority of people have not done this, right? You want to do this. So this is an important information, uh, uh, reminder about the quiz, class has been canceled, confirmation about tomorrow's class. I'm, I was responding to Francis, I think, I don't know if it was Thelma. Um, you know, so you want to make sure that you check these details. And then, the other thing, right? Now that you have access to this UNSA signed email address, um, you can actually access the mailing list even though you'll be getting automated um, messages, by default, when, when somebody sends an email to, to ICT 1110 at unza.zm, everybody who's a part of the mailing list, aka everybody in here, is going to receive that email, right? But if you want a fancy UI, you can go to this link, right? And then you'll be able to access the forum post. An interesting thing about this is you actually have it, access to a historical record of all the different messages that were exchanged even last year and before last year. So if you're one of those people who's curious in finding out what sort of questions people were asking last year, I do highly encourage you to use this link um, and just read up on uh, mails that were sent through last year, right? Um, right, is that fine? You want to go through these slides, they will be available and then these are the, these, you can go through them and just follow them through, right? From slide number four, all the way up to slide number, if it's not clear, all the way up to slide number 12. Is, is that fine? Okay. 